In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new A6 Meta Racer. What's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that ping button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There are loads of cool things down there. Right, so this week we've got the brand new A6 Meta Racer, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is, the brand new A6 Meta Racer. Now I absolutely love A6 shoes if you're new to the channel. I love the Guide Ride, I love the Evo Ride. So when they said that this was going to be coming out, I, I was like waiting myself. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. I actually saw this shoe back in March at the Big Half, which is a, a big half marathon held in London. There was a load of elites running it, and one or two had this on. And I was like, what is that? Ah, it's the Meta Racer. So I've kind of seen it already, but now I've got my hands on it, super excited. Now, before we get into what I think about this shoe, as always, let's get into some of the stats and some of the features. So firstly, I think the, the a major thing on this shoe is the breathability, the upper on the shoe is incredible. Um, you've got this engineered mesh upper, which has just got loads and loads and loads of perforations in it. It's got like a hole at the front, we'll come onto that in a minute, and it's all about keeping your feet cool. Uh, that's one of the things that strikes me more than anything else, how breathable this upper is. You've got the um, dual-sided lobster claw carbon plate um, from the midfoot to the toe. It's bottom loaded beneath the flight foam, we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, the shoe has a low stack height relative to its competitors. It's got 24 mil on the heel, 15 mil on the toe, which equates to a nine mil drop. Good maths, everybody. Um, you've got the guide tail technology, which uh, helps conserve the energy that comes over from the glide ride. And then you've got the A6 grip outsole, which provides amazing traction. And it's basically just a big slab of rubber, which I have to say, we'll get onto this now, this is definitely more durable feeling than a lot of the hyper shoes that are out there. Maybe apart from the Socony, this is definitely feels like it's a little bit more durable. Look, you can see the sort of level of rubble on it as well. So a lot of these hyper shoes, they're like built for like 50 miles max and that sort of thing. This definitely feels like it's got a little bit more on it. Right, so I talked about it a second ago. The breathability in this shoe. Now ASICs, one of the main standout things that they've tried to do is keep your feet cool. Because if your feet are cool, obviously your, your temperature is lower, you perform better. That is the sort of ethos behind it. Now I'm gonna come into the camera, it may not show it, um, too much. I wonder if I, where's my phone? Let's have a look, see if I can get my torch, hang on. Um, whether it shines it through on the camera, I'm not so sure. Uh, hopefully, maybe a bit of science that comes through how sort of, well, just so many perforations are on the shoe. Now, the other cool thing, which I said about in there, and I'm gonna come in, that's probably not gonna zoom, but there's a hole. Now that hole, again, is all about bringing the air in, bringing it over the foot, sending it out. It's all about keeping that foot cool, keeping you cooler so you can perform better, which I think is pretty neat, right? This is not something new, they've done this before, but they put it on here and this is the only sort of hyper shoe out there at the moment that's got that. So it's all about maintaining that sort of cooler feet over that marathon distance. The stack height is lower, which I just said about, and what is interesting with this shoe versus, is the, versus the other shoes is that the carbon plate is lower. So where, um, and the other shoes, and we'll do reviews and comparisons, they sort of stick it in the middle, uh, of the foam, like the flight foam, um, the uh, Zoom X and that sort of stuff. But with this, they put it down the bottom. So what that means is it's sort of lower and you get, it's much more of a snappy feel. I mean, a carbon plate in general, you get do get that sort of snap, but this is very, very snappy and it's more on the toe. So you really do get that sort of whip off your toe. And it's a different sensation to a, a Vaporfly or a, an Endorphin Pro. And it's, and it's quite noticeable actually. Um, the stack height, the lack of stack height, again, is more noticeable. This is a lot lower. This is a much racier 
feeling shoe. I did feel like the Saucony uh, in many respects that I was much more on my feet, on my toes. Um, and again, if you're new to the channel, I do tend to strike on the heel a little bit, but I definitely felt like it was getting me right up on my toes, which was nice. I love the lightweightness of it, which was great. The fit, well, actually the fit's interesting because I've gone down to a size UK nine in these. Now I'm a, a UK nine and a half in basically everything, but this, I'm a UK nine, um, which is interesting. It's, it just feels a much more snugger, racier fit for me. So I've actually gone down half a size. So I'll put that out there now as well. I like the lacing, uh, they're sort of tough laces, which you can really, it just feels like a, an old soccer boot, football boot if you're here in the UK. Just an old lacing that you can really tighten down. I enjoyed that very much. The Flight Foam is a new compound for ASICs. This is a softer, lighter, but more explosive version of the Flight Foam. It's definitely noticeable how even to touch, it's a lot softer. So it, it just feels, um, the best way to describe it, if you've tried the Nova Blast and the Evo Blast, the Evo, the Evo Ride, sorry, is very firm, where the Nova Blast is kind of soft. Between those two is how this feels. It isn't, for a Flight Foam, it's noticeably softer. Um, so I say it's the most up-to-date flight foam they've done and it's definitely, definitely different. You can feel the difference. So what do I think? Well, personally, now here it comes, I don't feel comfortable that this is a, a shoe designed for me to wear over a marathon. I don't feel that I would get the best out of this shoe. This is definitely more of an of a, a elite, I hate using the word elite, but an elite, faster person shoe than, than what is for me. I don't think this is going to do me any favours only over 26.2 miles. I don't think I run consistently enough with a good um, cadence and all that sort of stuff to get the most out of this shoe. And I think this is probably for me more suited at half marathons. 10Ks is where this will come in and I think I'll get a lot of speed out of it. But for me over the marathon distance where this is designed for, for me, I don't think it suits me. That's because not that I'm not a good enough runner because that's putting myself down, but this is definitely designed for those more elite, faster runners. And I think somebody out there, you know, who runs a sub three marathon, this is where this is gonna come into play. And it'll be really interesting to see how somebody with that speed compares this to like the Endorphin Pro, which is my favorite out of the hyper shoes at the moment. So my advice to you, if you're an everyday runner like me, I would probably actually stick with the Saucony or, or go for something else. I think this is, a much harder core carbon plated racing shoe. And to get the maximum out of it, I think you need to be that sort of different level to like an everyday runner. Don't get me wrong, this will still do wonders over half marathon distance if you're like just like me. This will be awesome over half marathon distance. But for us everyday runners, I think over the marathon distance, we would be better off in something like the Alpha Fly or the Soccer and the Endorphin Pro. So that's the thing with it. It is amazing. I think it, it feels sensational, but it's just a little bit too racy for me.